What's up? Thing, boys, it's Tibuk here. Happy Thursday and welcome to a squad builder. Before we get into that, boys, we blasted 800 likes in the last episode. If we could smash that, that would be fucking epic. Subscribe button is down here somewhere as well. At TibukHD is my Twitter handle so you know when I'm live streaming, pink slipping, and other crazy stuff. TheGameKeys.co.uk, cheap and reliable ultimate team coin service. Link in the description below. Use ZWE for 5% off all purchases. But boys, this is the first squad builder. Unless you've been following me since about 2003. 3,000 subs. This is the first squad builder you would have seen on my channel. You guys have been asking for it in the comments section, so I am delivering. I present to you World Cup Pink Slips Group A. What it's going to have to happen, I'm going to have to build a squad comprising of Mexican, Brazilian, Croatian, and Cameronese players. Those are the four teams that are in Group A of the World Cup. So I'm going to essentially build a squad builder for each of the groups. I think it's kind of a cool challenge, but let's get right into it, boys. And as always, let me know what you would have done differently. All right, boys, starting out, we are going with the one, the only, arguably the best right back in the entire game, Dani Alves, the Barcelona beast from Brazil. We're going to roll with him. He's got that 90 pace, so he's going to help move that ball up the right side. Up next, we have our man David Luiz. 77 pace for an inside center back is very, very solid. He's got 80 heading. He's also got that 6'2 height, which is fairly solid. Moving right along, we are going with our Cameronese, the first Cameronese player you're going to see in the squad builder. We are going with Basong. 74 pace, fairly solid. 74 defense. His numbers are very decent for a non gold rare. At left back, we are rolling with our boy Fabio. He doesn't have the greatest stats in the world, to be honest with you. 77 pace is okay. Fabio is a mediocre player overall, but that back line could be worse considering that we have a fairly strong stipulation where we have to fit all these nationalities in. I think that's a pretty competitive back line. This is not the strength of the squad, might I remind you. Moving on, boys, who else would it be? It's the Chelsea player, William, the Chelsea Brazilian. William, 88 pace. He's got the four-star skill moves. We're going to need that. Our second Cameronese player, we are going with Mbia. He's an absolute freak. He's got really good stats for a silver. He's a rare silver at that. And he looks like 6'6 in the game. He's listed at 6'2, but in game, he looks like a freaking tree, boys. So definitely a solid silver, rare silver player to shore up our interior midfield. All right, boys, moving right along. We have our first Croatian player. We've got Rakitic, 82 overall in form card with a powerhouse Kemi style. He's got that 85 shot, 88 pass. He is an absolute engine in the midfield. I'm going to highlight a shot that he ripped late in the third or fourth game that I played. And he is well worth the price to insert into our squad here. Shoring up that inside midfield. Let's move to right mid. And wouldn't you know it, we're going with the regular Vela card. Boys, he's got the 86 pace. He's got the four-star skill moves, which is what we want. He's got the high attacking work rate. That right side is how we're going to be producing our goals. Rakitic, Vela connection with the guys at striker that you're going to see in just a second here. And who else would we pair with Vela other than Inform Dos Santos, the absolute freak. He's a solid, solid player, so we're going to have a nice little connection there. And then who do we have left? If anyone can guess who it is, drum roll, please. It is none other than freshly minted Inform Samuel Eto. The guy's card is an absolute beast. He is a solid, solid player. The Chelsea connection with William there on the left, very solid. And last but not least, boys, we're going to roll with our boy Gomez. He's actually very, very solid. He was actually possibly the most impressive player in all five games games that I played. He had some particularly amazing saves, and this is a guy that's not highly touted in the community. We have four-star skill moves across the entire offensive side of this squad. Left mids, two strikers, and then the right mid, Vela. Uh, absolute solid, solid, solid squad. I might say so myself. Goes anywhere between 800 and a milli, I believe, is what we're looking at here. Special shout-out to Capcom Tom for helping me put this squad together, as well as you guys on Twitter, and that's the next point I want to get to. You guys are instrumental to this series' success. I want to hear from you guys what you think about this squad, things I could have done differently, because I am always astounded by your guys' knowledge. I might think I know a little bit about FIFA, but I am by far the FIFA knowledge base. You guys know way more, and I defer to you guys way more often than not on uh, all things FIFA, and I, I like to think that I teach you guys some things, and more often than not, you guys teach me things as well. You guys are the best subscribers in the community, I have to say. Without any further ado, let's go right into the highlights. Highlights. 